Aquila. Welcome back to another video. What I'm doing today is basically explaining where I've been. I kind of took like a three month break off YouTube and basically this video is going to be explaining why and just telling you about what I did and what happened in those three months. And then later on I'm probably going to head up the creek and maybe try catch an eel or catfish with my hands or even make a primitive trap and try catch one with that which will be really cool. So pretty much at the end of last year I went on a holiday to Indonesia. Now I was going to film that whole trip and put it up on YouTube but I thought that just after my TV show I wanted to have a bit of a break and really enjoy the holiday, go out and do a heap of things so that's what I decided to do. Now I still did film a few things and here are the clips right now. So we climbed down there which was really cool, got some awesome photos and everything and it was pretty much the most beautiful place I've ever been. And I've been to like four places. And then just after that we dropped into this place called the Bali Mini Zoo which was just awesome. I've always wanted to go there. I followed it on Facebook for a couple of years and I was like next time I'm going to Bali I'm 100% going here. It had all different types of animals like snakes, spiders, fish. It had every type of bird you can imagine. It was really cool. So we dropped in there and straight up this guy just threw like 30 snakes on my head. So we're here at the Bali Mini Zoo. As you can see, got a few pets down here. A couple snakes, big pythons. Aren't they so cool? And we're gonna be just walking through this zoo and seeing what else we can see. And me, myself, I'm not a massive fan of spiders. So this guy, the guy who runs the Mini Zoo, brought out this massive tarantula and he was like, oh, do you wanna hold it? I was like, I'm just fine with the parrot. Like, I really don't. But then after some convincing, I ended up putting it on my head, which is really cool. So roll the clip. All right, so that is a tarantula sitting on the top of my head right now. I'm not a big fan of spiders, but this one seemed pretty cool. You can see all its hairs and everything. And take a look at that, this is awesome. And then my favorite part of that mini zoo was he ended up bringing an albino Burmese python out, which was just insane. It was the biggest berm I've ever seen and for it to be albino too, which was really cool. And it was just like, it was the friendliest snake you've ever seen. Didn't try to bite, it was just like crawling all over your body. So if you're ever in Bali, I definitely recommend dropping into that place and giving it a look. So after we came back from Bali, I ended up doing a trip up north with my mate. We didn't have any dinner or anything, so I decided to bring the spears out in the flats and here's what happened. Got it. Yep, my GoPro died, but we ended up cooking that guy up for lunch and it tasted really good. And then after that, we were walking up this little creek and I saw a massive sea turtle caught up in this fishing net. So I decided to go in the creek, untangle it, because otherwise when the tide comes up, it would have died because it was trapped in about chest deep water and the tide still needed to rise an extra meter. So I jumped in the water without thinking, untangled the turtle, made sure it was all good, then let it go. And then I realized a year ago in this exact creek, there was a three meter croc spotted. But luckily there was no crocs around there to get me this time. And here we are, 2019, gonna be a really good year. I'm excited for what this year has to offer. But what I'm gonna do now is head up this creek and try catch some catfish. <laughs> the catfish trap. Now I've just done a scout just up that way and I've seen that there is a few catfish sitting in the pools up there but the thing is they have banks they can go under so if I was to just try jump on one it would be a lot harder to catch one when I can make a simple trap like this. So the trap that I'm making right now has been used for hundreds of thousands of years and the local indigenous people used to use this trap to catch eels, catfish and other species so hopefully it's going to work today. So how this trap works is it's a bit of a funnel trap that's what I call it anyways. So you block off anywhere the catfish can get out of with rocks and you make a bit of a funnel that narrows down into one pool. Then what you do is you go up to the very end of the creek, very end of where you can push the catfish down and you make as much noise as you can going through the water. Now that'll scare all the catfish down and hopefully they'll go into your pool. Since they can't go anywhere else, then you can block it off and get them. So that's the theory anyways. I haven't done this trap in a while, but hopefully it works. Alright, 
So it was a lot of effort, but I just finished making that trap and I can actually see a couple catfish sitting in the pool just there. So they're the ones that I'm hopefully gonna try get. So what I'm gonna do in a minute is go up just behind them, chase them down. They'll get down this way, go into here. They can't go that way because I blocked that off. And then there'll be these two walls there and there and they're going to be trapped in here and I'm hopefully going to be able to get them. So I'm going to run up there, hopefully we can get one. Alright, there's a catfish just here. I've come around, the trap's just down there, I'm going to try to scare it down into that pool and grab it. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Whoa! Where'd it go? You're not getting away, buddy. Yes! <laughs> this is actually working. <laughs> yep, see this? He can't get out of there either. And just like that, there's a catfish in the pool. He was just chilling up there. That is so good. Alright, let me try grab him without getting spiked. Oh, see that? That was a spangled perch too. Oh. Oh. Alright. There we go. And that is how to make a primitive trap for the eel tail catfish. That is so good. This one's a pretty decent sized one. I've caught so many in this creek before. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Just getting some rocks, putting them down there, and putting it to use. That is so good. We're gonna get this guy back in there. I'm not gonna cook him or anything. But take a look at that. Catfish caught on a primitive trap. That's so good. You can see those whiskers going there at the moment. All right, these catfish can stay out of water for a long period of time, but I don't want to stress out the animal or anything, so I'm going to let him go. Not in that blocked pool. <laughs> All right. See you, buddy. All right, there he goes. Into that deeper pool there. <sighs> that is so good. Thank you for watching, everyone. Sorry for not posting for two months, but I should be back now. Hopefully, I'm going to be posting a few more videos and everything. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at Miller Wilson if you like this kind of stuff. Cheers. <laughs>